Victory Basin Wildlife Management Area is located in, centrally in the town of Victory, Vermont, which is uh, in the Northeast Kingdom in Essex County. Uh, it is the largest lowland spruce fir basin in Vermont. It hosts many boreal forest species. That's what makes it unique, is that you can find wildlife species there that are generally found much further north that live in spruce fir forests. Um, some of these include a Canada jay, boreal chickadee, uh, spruce grouse are there now as part of a reintroduction program. People can enjoy bird watching for these birds, but also their hunting, fishing, canoeing is available on the Moose River on flat water sections. They can see many species of wildlife, including waterfowl, black ducks, wood ducks. You could sight a moose as you're canoeing around the bend in the river, and you know you never really know what's going to be around the next bend in the middle of such a remote area as Victory Basin. The centerpiece of this nearly 5,000 acre wildlife management area is Victory Bog. This peat moss wetland is fed by small streams draining the mountains that ring the basin, which eventually flow into the Moose River. Victory Bog is home to several unusual plants, including the insect-eating pitcher plant. Victory Basin uh, Wildlife Management Area is part of a larger complex of state land, which includes uh, Victory State Forest, which surrounds Victory Basin almost like a donut, and with the uh, Victory Basin WMA right in the center of the donut hole, together the whole complex makes up almost 30,000 acres of protected public land. Um, it'll be conserved forever for the enjoyment of Vermonters. With its diversity of rare bird species and network of maintained trails, Victory Basin attracts bird watchers from across the region, but it also hosts a variety of other outdoor activities. It's a popular destination for moose hunting. Actually, um, several moose, at least three or four moose, are taken um, in the basin every year. It's popular with bear hunters. It has a very uh, healthy bear population. People uh, catch brook trout in the headwaters of the Moose River, in the uh, upland, more upland sections of the river. They're popular with small game hunters. Uh, snowshoe hare hunting is very popular because of the spruce fir forests and the, the habitat that's being managed there, and also rough grouse has healthy rough grouse populations. Rough grouse are not the only grouse in Victory Basin spruce and fir lowlands. In 2008, the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department began reintroducing spruce grouse to the area. Although a common game species in Canada, spruce grouse are endangered in Vermont and off limits to hunters. Victory Basin Wildlife Management Area was selected for the spruce grouse reintroduction program because it is a reintroduction to, to Victory Basin. They were historic species there, we have records that they were found there. They were extirpated due to unsustainable timber harvesting in the turn of the century, and so their habitat was removed. The birds never found their way back there, but when the trees um, grew back, it became excellent habitat. Regarding the rough grouse hunting, in, in consideration for the spruce grouse reintroduction program, um, we are asking that hunters identify their targets um, very clearly because female spruce grouse looks quite a bit like a rough grouse. And uh, if they're not comfortable um, distinguishing between the species, then they probably shouldn't hunt rough grouse in Victory Basin. Victory Basin's boreal forest is not only habitat for rare birds and plants, it also provides critical habitat for Vermont's most popular game animal. Victory Basin also is a, a large deer wintering area. Um, I'm not sure of the acreage, but it provides a substantial amount of deer winter cover for white-tailed deer that funnel down into the basin from all the surrounding hills and mountains and uh, spend the winter in the basin. Victory Basin's unique boreal forest and wetland complex was preserved for future generations thanks to the foresight of state and local conservationists. The basin was almost lost uh, to the public as, as we know it now, as a recreational area and as a, as a um, place to see these boreal species and, and to undertake the many activities there. It was nearly uh, turned into a lake. Um, in 1969, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers had a plan to dam the Moose River and flood the entire basin and create an enormous lake and a, a local naturalist named Fred Mould stepped in and started sort of a grassroots effort to save the bog and he recognized um, the ecological features there and the recreation potential and he, he thought that the bog should be saved as it was and eventually Ed Kehoe, then the Commissioner of the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department, stepped in and said that this would be worthwhile and actually bought the land which preempted the Army Corps of Engineers opportunity to carry out their plan. 
this purchase was primarily funded by sportsman dollars. Uh, I, I, would, I believe it was almost 100% funded by sportsman dollars at the time.